What's up, witches? It's Witch Agent Nakora, and welcome back to Doki Doki. And we left off with a cliffhanger right here. Basically, Yuri is nervous as all get out. <laughs> but we're all getting ready for the festival, so let's go on into it. And the first start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the palm to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing. Uh, looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay! Yes, I'm next then. Siri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Ah. Uh. I'm trying to think of it like you're re reciting to other people. Imagine you were sending it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best th that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Theory begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice is made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Theory is. <clears throat> it's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sari's voice almost gives it almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sari meant by when she said she likes my poems. <laughs> it's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sari finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sari. <laughs> Even Pandora liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems didn't quite quite work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. <clears throat> might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing this kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have that much time for the festival, you know. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, allergy season, you suck. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Huh. Don't make me go before Pandora. It's not like I could, it's not like I could compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Pandora lower everyone's ex stands a little more before I have to do it. Not ski. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and stand in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Awkward. I don't have any music to listen to other than this really pretty background music, but that's it. I really need my D8 game playlist right now. I recite my poem. Because I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. I hope. Alright, then. I just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going... 
Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... <clears throat> Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting? <laughs> anyway, the poem's called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little bit. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? <clears throat> Easy for you to say. You'd better not make do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. Well, it's just my friends. It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it'd be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming, though. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what's, what it's like now. Make sure you pick up, a poem, make, pick up a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what, you, what, what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm very pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's just about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's still working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll put finish playing tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. <clears throat> There's no I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep! Look at you two, always come home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, <laughs> how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Pandora. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I will come with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on her way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. No wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how I get to... I, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, I just did it one day. Yuri asked to walk home with you? Huh? What, 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 you, what would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> um, even though I would really walk home with Yuri, I would actually walk home with Sayori, because we're friends. Sayori. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? Huh? But, but... She's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't ruin that for you. You're so silly, Pandora. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted, so... Sayori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. 
<laughs> Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about, but I want to respect her and keep her happy too. And again, the, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? <clears throat> well, time to write a poem. Hmm. Let's see. I go with destiny. Um. Massacre. Death. What? Okay. Romance. Hmm. Passion. Fantasy. Mm, prayer. Horror. Eternity. Disoriented. Broken. Mm, doki doki. Entropy. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Unstable. Tenacious. Nightgown. Boop. And existence. And to finish it out. Uncanny. Ooh, and the last one? Definitely graveyard. <clears throat> if y'all think my poem is a little macabre, you should see what I actually write. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh man! I'm the last one here again! Don't worry, I just walked in too. Oh, were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Aha! You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination. I have passion. Remember, th remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too! Uh, I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! <clears throat> eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound like a bit like a Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? Oh, I love fried squid! It's so good! And dried squid is even better too, but I don't like the spicy kind. It tastes kind of funny. <clears throat> I actually prefer clam strips myself. <laughs> but squid and octopus are really good. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. So what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. <laughs> Nazi coming in with the jokes. Eh? It's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke made no sense in translation. Eh? Uh, never mind. We'll just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where's Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. Oh, she's feeling all down. I'll walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I waved my hand in front of her face. Yoo-hoo! Eh? You're spacing out again. <clears throat> uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, well, for all we know, cause she could be faking it. Like, something's really going on with her. With her. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glanced at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she knows anything about Sayori recently. Since, they prepare, since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I typically approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at, the, at her desk. <coughs> I'm really sorry for that one. That hurt. As I said, allergy season sucks, and I get a lot of drainage, and it sucks even more. <sighs> Pandora, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. <clears throat> Monica appears across the room with Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. I used to do that a lot whenever I was bored. It also kept my mind on things. Maybe there is something on her mind. I'm surprised I'm not, I'm not the one asking you, Pandora. <coughs> oh god, dang it. I wish I could stop doing that. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She always talked to me about things that bothered her. That, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. <clears throat> Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying maybe the thing on her mind is you, Pandora. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say it too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Huh? She's been so much happier since you've joined the club. It's like an extra life has turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been so, so full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Pandora. Have you ever thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's this, this how she is when she's around you. <clears throat> ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What did I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try to think about it for now. Ugh. Alright. Monica smiled meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it. But I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched, though? I glance around the room. Suddenly I noticed Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly as with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation of her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now it's a little easier for me to do that. <clears throat> I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But 
I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. <laughs> Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who are willingly, willingly sharing that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the, the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to show what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. <clears throat> Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if it's something, ha if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? So, sorry. I, I didn't mean to think, say something so stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a very long time, that's all. Ugh. I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Pandora. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep behind plain sight. And then there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how, may, how well you may know them. Ah. So you think there might be just something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what, she, what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I know it's her strange behavior, too. too. And I also feel, feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looks like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, <clears throat> I guess that was the case. Sayori. She... It really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. I'm just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna end it right here, guys. Um, Sayori's feeling really depressed, y'all. I mean, what's going on with her? Yesterday, she was so happy. And yesterday I wasn't clearing my throat so much. But anyway, I wonder what's wrong with her. Maybe she's just coming down with something, or maybe she's just really, really depressed. Like, to the point she needs psychiatric help. I don't know, guys, but we're going to find out in the next episode. <sighs> my nose is running, and I really need tissue. I have been despised allergy season. But I won't get on out of here, guys. In the next in the next episode, we're gonna find out what's wrong with Sayori, <laughs> and hopefully we can help cure her. But anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here, guys. If you like this video, why don't you hit that like button faster? You can cast a spell of the face. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe and notification bells and buttons to find out whenever I upload. I upload same time, same channel. <laughs> Two o'clock Monday through Friday. Mwah! Stay magical, my friends, and don't bottle up your feelings. If you got something to say, let it out.